Okay, so I just got to rant a little bit about these freaking crepe myrtle trees. They just create the biggest mess. I'm about to, I'm going to keep that one. It looks pretty good. It's nice. It's got a full canopy and it's way out there. So even all those leaves, and I'm down in Charleston, South Carolina right now, which it's in August. It's basically a swamp. Um, and I bought this house a while ago and it had all these crepe myrtles, which they look okay a little bit out of the year, but they're a lot to keep up with. And they just constantly, 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 I just washed this car the other day, like yesterday. They're just constantly crapping leaves everywhere and just all that debris and just to see what they turn into. And I pressure wash this driveway at least twice a year. I'm not kidding. Like full pressure wash and clean it twice a year and it just turns into crap. So I'm getting rid of these freaking crepe myrtle trees. Um, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm shooting this video. I'm just so mad at them. Just came out this morning, just seeing this dirty crap everywhere. It's just got me riled up. I'm about ready to go get a damn Sawzall and just go to town. Uh, anyway, comment down below if you're over it with these crepe myrtles as well. And I can just tell you, I've got some other ones in my backyard that are kind of in the corner and they look pretty good. And the leaves, you know, they're going to fall in the yard. It's not a big deal. But I would never, ever recommend that you put crepe myrtles anywhere close to where you're going to be parking a car or over your driveway. I mean, just look at this. All the time I'm dealing with this. And believe me, I pressure wash this twice a year. It's just crap. Ugh. Anyway, I'm over it with these crepe myrtles. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Why not? I'll see you on the next video.